Welcome to another quick learning movie. My name is Jan Huyink and this time I would like to show you something about a very interesting innovation in the world of triacs, top triac. Top triac means temperature and overload protected triac. Why would we need a temperature and overload protected triac? A normal triac, if the junction temperature exceeds the maximum junction temperature that you will find in the data sheet, will go out of control. It means if you take away the gate signal the triac will continue to conduct and you cannot switch it off. And then if you don't do any extra protection it will go on fire. In what kind of cases would you have a too high junction temperature of a triac? For instance if you have a load fault and there is a too high current or if you have intermittent loads and you have an excessive duty cycle or there is a very high ambient temperature or there is a problem with your cooling. In all such cases the temperature can get too hot. So customers want to avoid that situation. They make a thermal protection on their PCB. For instance by measurement of temperature and then a micro switches off the gate signal or you would have a bimetallic strip to switch off the whole appliance. Customers also tend to overdimension triacs, so they use a 16 amp triac, for instance, if you need only 8 amp. The nice thing is with top triac, it will switch itself off when the junction temperature has reached 125 degrees Celsius. So external thermal protection components or overdimensioning of triacs is no longer necessary. We think the top triac is very good for AC mains operated power tools, vacuum cleaners, white good appliances, coffee machines and lamp dimmers. By using a top triac a customer has peace of mind. Because nothing can go on fire the top triac will switch itself off when it gets too hot. And the customer can also save on the cost of bill of material because you no longer need to buy protection components. A top triac is a two quadrant triac. It means it will only trigger in the two quadrants on the left with exclusively negative gate current. These two quadrants have positive gate current and there the top triac will not work. So you have to apply negative gate current. This is the positive cycle, this is the negative cycle. This is the symbol of a normal triac, can be a four or a three quadrant triac, main terminal one, main terminal two and gate. This is the symbol of a top triac, load, common and gate. Here you see the additional functionality that we built in. Top triacs are made in planar technology giving the best high temperature and high voltage ruggedness. We released two parts, 12 amp and 16 amp. They're called Top T12, 800C0, Top T16, 800C0. Both are 800 volt, a sensitivity IGT of 35 milliamps and come, and that's very important, in the normal TU220 package. The standard package with the same pinout as a normal triac. In the data sheets we have included an application note explaining clearly how you can use the device. Top triacs can be used with and without microcontroller. You can have a simple manual control with no microcontroller or an automatic control using a microcontroller. Let's look at the triggering modes of the top triac. You can either have DC triggering or pulse triggering. If we do DC triggering, there is continuous conduction. You have to apply more than 35 milliamps gate current, negative gate current of course, and then if the triac gets too hot, it will switch off. After switching off you have to maintain this DC gate trigger current and then 
the temperature will go down of course because the top trike is switched off and you can make everything operational again by simply removing and reapplying the gate current and everything works normally again. Pulse triggering we do if we want to do power control so we can make phase angles. In this case we have to apply a continuous bleed current drawing 0.5 to 2 milliamps from the gate. The triac is on, we use pulses, we can make phase angles from close to 0 degrees to close to 180 degrees from current zero crossing. If the triac switches off in an over temperature event, we maintain the bleed current after the switch off and we let the temperature go down. Then we remove the entire gate control and reapply and the triac will switch on again. So now let's have a look at our demo board to show you the functionality of top triac. So here we have the top triac demo board. With this demo board we control a 1.2 kilowatt hairdryer set to its maximum power. Over here you see the top triac. As you can see it is in the normal TU220 package and it has no heatsink. The combination of the 1.2 kilowatt load and the fact that the triac does not have a heatsink means that the triac will heat up rather quickly and will reach 125 degrees Celsius. We just had an over temperature event so the triac switched off itself. With this button I will remove and then reapply the DC gate current. As you hear the hair dryer switches on and the top triac is heating up and we wait for the top triac to trip which can happen any moment. Now it happened and you can see that actually the top triac protected itself for over temperature by switching off. Now I set the board to phase control operation and I start again and you can hear I can lower the power and increase the power of the hairdryer. I set it to maximum power and the top triac trips again protecting itself. I hope I made clear that with this demo board we can prove the functionality of this very interesting innovation in the world of triacs. I thank you very much for watching and please be back soon for more interesting quick learning movies. Thank you.